What is good, Ape Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock and share my theory on AMC with you guys and talk about why I believe AMC is still set for upside and why I believe it's very likely that AMC is following a fractal. And once you see what I'm about to talk about, it's going to make a lot of sense. Now, before I break anything down about this, before I talk about what I'm seeing in AMC and why I believe this thing is set for more upside, I've got to mention a couple of things real quick, okay? Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Take none of this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Ape community as a whole. And the last things, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link down below and into the description. If you sign up for Moomoo, the link down below and deposit 100 bucks into the account, you're guaranteed up to 15 free stars. Stocks each worth up to two thousand dollars, and the best part is any could be a free AMC share, a free Tesla share, or a mix of all of them. If you also sign up today, you're gonna have the chance to win sixty thousand dollars for simply signing up. Please do so whenever you guys want. It's a limited time offer in just two weeks. The offer ends. Thank you all. And with that out of the way, let's get on with AMC. So, when it comes to AMC, I want you guys to remember a video I made a couple of weeks ago where I broke down my theory on AMC. And when you see this. It's going to be very interesting. All right, so let's go back. Right here, my theory was that these spikes right here are a repeat of what happened back in 2021. Okay? If you look at this formation, first we have the January 2021 run-up right here, and then we have the March run-up right here. Do you guys see this connection? Look at how before the January run-up, we have one touch, two tops, three tops, comes down to a new low, forming a double bottom, big run. Before the March run-up, we have our first top leg formation here, similar to this, right? We come down, we came down. We got our second top, it kind of formed a double top like formation here. Double top, comes down, we came down. We push up a little bit, push up a little bit, come down, come down, right? It's like a double bottom, double bottom, squeeze, squeeze, right? It's so similar, right? This was January 2021, this is March 2021, all right? And then notice the trend. After January 2021, we had the March run-up. I apologize about these lines here. I, I like to keep them there for other videos, but I can't really... I mean, I could just hide them, I guess. Uh, let me just hide them. Give me one second, guys. Hold on. Yeah, let me just hide them for you guys. Sorry about that. Anyways, then we have a second run-up. Remember the run-up we saw in August? Doesn't this resemble this? This was the March run-up right here where my cursor is this right here is the august run-up look at how similar they look both of them have slow pushes up like this and then what else is interesting is as i mentioned in my previous video this is a slowed down version of this whole formation we have the january run-up the march run-up there's one big run-up the second run-up is smaller the march run-up was bigger the second run-up was smaller this was august all right, so I'm just refreshing what I mentioned. But what's different about it is instead of crashing all the way back down, the market was so bullish that AMC did not was not able to crash down that hard because there were so many buyers. So AMC came down to like $5. Similar to right here. But notice the way these things drop. And what you'll notice is... I'm trying to find that part... So basically, AMC has this big drop like this. Just like how AMC had this big drop here. Small bounce, small bounce. Then look at this. One touch, two touch, double bottom drop. Compare that to this. See, we came down here. We came down here, okay? We have the first touch, push up, second touch from this double bottom like formation. We push up a little bit and we have one last major sell off. It's similar to this. The major sell-off phase and then notice how we have this run-up that we are currently in 
And I, I am recording this right before the market opens, so I apologize if it's not complete by the time you're watching this video. But look at this run up, the third run up for AMC. Do you see the similarity? Push up, push up. We have like a flag here, a flag here, and we just take off. And we are getting ready to take off temporarily, in my opinion. And then the last thing to notice is this. In 2021, before the June run-up, trying to get this to look good. Okay, we have the January run-up right where my cursor is. All right, right here. January run-up. We come down. Second run-up is smaller. March run-up. Third run-up. It's actually right here. Right, this is the third run-up I was talking about. Whoopsie daisy, sorry guys. So right here, this is the third run-up. It's smaller. First run-up, second run-up, third run-up. What do you notice? Look at their formations. Just look at the peaks. There's a similarity. One big run-up, we come down, and I'm kind of throwing a lot of TA out of, out of, out of the window. I understand that, but just look at the patterns. First run-up, first run-up, second run-up. August run-up is very similar to March. The last run-up happened right here before AMC came down again. And it looks like we're about to make that third run-up before we come down again. Why are we going to come down? Because the market's not ready to recover. We have an earnings recession coming up. The market will likely see more downside. Let me just draw this out. Hold on. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. I can't really get rid of these trend lines if I'm going to draw this out. I, I do not want to delete everything because I want to make more videos. But you guys could quite clearly see how you could draw this trend line like this and capture everything. So what I'm thinking is, what if we're able to do it on this end? Draw out a trend line like this, or similar to this. And it really shows what AMC is going to do. Basically, AMC might pop. Maybe over the next two weeks, this thing hits $12. Gets a big rejection, comes back down. And then the next time it breaks this trend line, Perhaps that's when this thing is going to get ready to do something like this, except it's going to be bigger. And I'm going to make another video about this tomorrow where I break down when this big run-up may come because I, I actually did something else with it using Fibonacci time zones. And when you see that, all right, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be insane. So I'm going to release the video tomorrow about when AMC might squeeze this could be the sign. I'm going to show you that tomorrow. I, it's a lot for me to talk about. I want to, I do not want to make this video like 30 minutes long. But I, I will have more content coming out later. But anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a brief outlook of, about what may happen. Always remember, I'm not giving financial advice. I'm not promising this. There's a chance this won't play out. Correlation does not mean causation. Maybe AMC doesn't do this. All right. It's, it's always a possibility you have to be prepared for. I don't want to hype you up. I don't want to promise anything. I just want you guys to be prepared. Let's see if this plays out or if it's very similar. We'll see how this really moves. It's very possible something like this could happen. But anyways, anyways, looking at AMC, I mean, it looks very possible. You see a nice push up like this. The timing is going to be very interesting. Uh, anyways, my target would be if we truly are going to follow this, depending on how long it takes, AMC could reach the 12 to 13 range. Over the next couple of weeks, it's very possible before getting another rejection and coming down. And then it might just be getting ready for one last drop before something big happens over the next few months. But like I said before, that's what I have for this one. Uh, thank you all for listening. Have a great rest of the day and be on the lookout tomorrow. I'm going to release another video about this because there's something cool I want to talk about involving the time of the squeeze. So get ready for tomorrow. I'm going to release another video. And remain calm, cool, and collected. AMC to the moon because the long-term future is still incredibly bright. And peace out.